Although the calendar shows March as being part of springtime, the weather itself is a continuation of winter with dark, foggy, dreary days, very, very little sunshine. The wildlife is trying to find something to eat as by winter's end, things are pretty scarce. But there are signs of new birth and new growth. The snaglockens come out and really give you the first idea of spring is in the air. The swans have started to arrive again, but not in the massive flocks like in times past. Silver cranes are very rare in this part of Germany. We were lucky to get a shot of those. Driving down the road, the marabella trees are starting to bloom. They'll be full of fruit by summer's end. The gray swans and rabbits have started to appear and the animals are enjoying the few short moments of sunshine. Skies start to blue up, but there's always the clouds and the ever-threatening possibility of rain. The willow trees start to bud. The flowers start to bloom. And the deer are just laying around lazy after hiding all winter. Little flowers start to pop up. It's getting close to April. The grass is starting to green and the animals are starting to lose their winter hair. Rabbits are out. Don't see them at all during the winter. And you won't see them in the summer because the grass will be too tall. But this is a typical morning in March. The lakes have now thawed out as well as the little creeks and rivers. And the forest floor has turned into a carpet of color instead of old dead leaves. But we are not alone. Geese this year have also failed to come in great migrations, but they do come a few at a time, land in this little lake and then move on. This guy's around all year round. Swans have come, they'll move on also. Three days after this film, there were none to be found. And the trees all start to finally green up. April is here. The fields are green. Farmers are planting. Trees are all in bloom. A really pretty time of year. It won't last long, because cold weather is not past yet. The wind is fierce, and it just makes it feel colder than what it really is. Cranes don't seem to mind it as they wander through the freshly planted fields. And deer are in 
in great abundance this year. On the 26th of April, we had a snowstorm and the cold weather almost completely took out all the trees that were in blossom. It was hard to film that fox as the snow was falling so hard the camera wouldn't focus. Some animals didn't mind. But others did. Sights of the wind blowing through the forest and just breaking and bending trees. Then comes May and it seems like overnight the fields shoot up with growth and the animals seem to really become alive, enjoying the warmer days and the sunny days. You can tell that this part, end of May, spring has finally arrived. Cormoran takes a sun bath. And in early May, everything just seems to explode in color also. Flowers start to bloom. On the second day of May, we had an extremely hard frost and it took out all of these blossoms. Raps is a major crop grown over here and the fields are yellow at this time of year and just stretch for miles and miles and miles. Some farmers have already started cutting their hay and others are mowing their trees. This machine is incredible. It cuts the tree, knocks off all the branches, cuts the logs in four to meet, four meter long lengths. Really something like film is not under the expose, it's just that dark in the forest. Look at after he's been through an area. There was not much rainfall this spring. It was an extremely dry winter also. Hopefully everything will have a chance to grow quickly because the growing season here is very, very short. Dandelions always do well. You don't want to stand behind this guy. I won't tell you what he's spreading, but you can guess. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at March, April, and May of 2016.